Have you ever wanted to just forget about all the doctor appointments, x-rays, diagnosis, and after doctor visit feedback about your symptoms? If you want to know about how technology positively affects your health and privacy, then pay attention because today we will discuss how about how technology affects your health and privacy both positively and negatively and how it is advancing in these two aspects. First, I will talk about how technology affects your daily lives and privacy and health. Secondly, I will give you examples on technology. Lastly, I will tell you how technology will keep on progressing in the near future. First, I will talk about how technology affects your daily lives in privacy and health, security. I will give you examples on technology. Lastly, I will tell you how technology will keep on progressing in the near future. Let's begin by discussing how technology affects your health and privacy positively. Technology has been playing an important role in our health systems and privacy ever since the late 1970s, when microcomputers began to become available and used for things like hospital billing and safekeeping of personal information. Technology has helped make health in a daily life better and simpler, giving important details and for treatment quickly and accurately. According to the article by the Fault City of Health and Sciences, performing accurate diagnosis using compoted tomography in emergency medicine may reduce mortality rates in various diseases. Before CT scans, we had focal plane tomography, which goes back to at least 1917. It was able to perform the same task as a CT scan, but in a less accurate manner. It was not able to produce imaging of the soft tissue unlike CT scans. As technological advances increased over time, this scan was replaced by the more accurate and safe CT scan. Accurate diagnosis using computed tomography in emergency medicine may reduce mortality rates in various diseases. Nowadays, in order to detect cancer in the body, doctors order a patient to get a CT scan. They have the ability to image bone, soft tissue, and blood vessels at the same time, providing detailed images of many types of tissue, allowing quick diagnosis and even quicker treatment. According to the article by PhD certified Dr. Pickens, focal tomography was the main method of obtaining tomography and medical imaging until the late 1970s. It has been replaced by more advanced imaging techniques such as CT and MRI. Now, let's talk about how technology affects our privacy. Technology can also affect you negatively. I am going to continue this speech with information on how it can also influence negative outcomes. Back then, before people had accurate and advanced technology, people used punch cards as a first effort of data storage and a machine language. These so-called punch cards were to communicate information to equipment before computers were developed. According to the article by Caleb Scarf, in 1889, a mechanical engineer named Herman Hollerith persuaded the United States government to use machine-readable paper punch cards and electric coursing machines to conduct the national census, saving the U.S. Treasury about $5 million in the cost of handling data for 62 million people. People trust computers more than anything up to this day. Engineers use computers to keep data, make designs, and produce software technology. Before the computers and punch cards, there was no saving data. Here is how it affects our privacy negatively. But the same technology that you can't go a day without is causing more harm than good. And not just for other people, it's affecting you. It's, it's posing real serious threats. Big companies that we know now, such as Google and Safari, are collecting huge amounts of small information from daily use of these web browsers and sometimes without our knowledge. The information that is so-called small is more than just names, addresses, age, where we live. Devices are known for collecting crucial information such as financial information, passwords, conversations, mortgages, photos, videos, and every single place we visited in the last month. Now, we all know that's not small information, that's big information, basically your whole life. According to the article by Grant Kelly, as you log into accounts, the password manager saves your password that you suggest, changing weak or duplicate passwords for most of your accounts with the click of a button. You are seconds away from obtaining crucial information in a skeptical view. 
This is dangerous because if you are not the owner of the information, the risks are at stake. And the risks are your information and your well-being. I will now be explaining how technology advancements will affect us. Here is how technology will keep on advancing in the future. Technology provides a maker's education in AI, a design, and many STEM fields. It does this through specialized programs that allow students to explore these interests. With today's technology, designers can have access to a limitless choice of colors and shades so that they can mix and watch their designs. A tool called Colors can help designers pick the best colors. Today, there are also new uh, tools for communicating with clients. Right now, Apple is releasing a lot of products, such as the iPad. The iPad nowadays for designers or majors or people pursuing their major in designing and architect, the iPad would be perfect for them. It comes with a, a pen that you can write with uh, on the screen of the iPad. With today's technology, designers can now have access to limitless choices of colors and shades so that they can mix and wash their designs. A tool called Colors can help designers pick the best colors today. There are also new tools for communicating with clients. According to the article by Mohit, thanks to today's technology, talented designers now have various avenues that can help them kickstart their careers. Because of the internet and computers, it has become easier for designers to communicate with their clients and show off their masterpiece. So if you're a designer out there, go ahead and get yourself an iPad because you're going to need it in the long run. What technology is doing to ensure our privacy? You may all ask that question in your daily lives. How is this computer protecting my privacy? On the other hand, technology is not just making privacy worse. They gave it a shot and technology nowadays is now ensuring our privacy stays confidential one step at a time. Technology provides a way of protecting individuals' privacy by allowing time to share only enough personal information with service providers to complete correlation of users' interactions with these third parties. The federal law protecting your electronic information was passed in 1986, marking it older than the World Wide Web. The government argues that the Fourth Amendment protects information that you keep on your desk, but not information that you keep online. So be careful what you post online because what you post online stays online. In the article, it states by Jeff Pickens, the Fourth Amendment guards against online information and any third websites, party websites, to collect information without your knowledge. In conclusion, technology has affected us in our daily lives in many different ways. Today, I talked about how technology affected our daily lives and how privacy and how it affected our health too, and how it's going to continue to affect our health and privacy. I explained what kind of technology affected your health and privacy in a negative and positive way, and I gave examples of the type of technology out there being used up to this day. So now, there are many ways technology is going to advance in the future. It might be negative, some might be positive, but technology is our future, and our future is now. It's up to you to make the choice of what you're going to do with the technology that life is going to bring us in the near future.